Hi everyone, Amy here from Kahuna Co and I am at AWMA Water Control Solutions today. We've got a bit of a dual purpose today. Um, AWMA are the major sponsor of an upcoming amazing event that we have in Kahuna regularly, every year. They're the major sponsors, so I thought it would be a really good shout out for the, the, the event, which is the Kahuna Bridge to Bridge. Um, I thought it would be a really good tie-in to sort of come to the major sponsor and also do a bit of a plug for the Bridge to Bridge event because it's coming up on the Sunday the 1st of March. Um, they need people to enter. Um, people sometimes leave it to the last minute. No, I'm guilty of that sometimes, but it would be good for everyone to get their entries in um, as soon as they can so that it makes it easier on the amazing volunteer team um, who are doing all the organising for it. So we just really like to thank uh, the AWMA to, for being the sponsor. There's a lot of other sponsors as well. You can go to the Bridge to Bridge website. I've got it written on my bit of paper here because I don't want to get it wrong. It is www.bridgetobridge.org.au and it's two like T-O. So go there, make sure you get your entries in. All the information about the Bridge to Bridge is on that page. Um, you know, where you can pick your bibs up, the buses out to the start line, if you need a start line, if your event needs a start line, is um, the buses actually go to the Kahuna Secondary College now. Uh, there's an uh, event village at Apex Park, which isn't just for entrance and participants, it's for the whole town. So get along there and have some fun. Be able to stand there and cheer everyone on when they're coming through the finish line. So it's the 27th year of the Kahuna Bridge to Bridge. It started many moons ago, that's a whole nother video, but um, it's the 27th one and it's been taken over by the volunteer team and supported by the uh, Kahuna Progress Association and it raises money for the Kahuna District Hospital. So quite amazingly, last year the event raised $11,000 and that actually went towards two specialist dialysis chairs um, for our hospital, um, which we were in dire needs of. And this year they have decided to put the funds towards our, I'm not going to be able to say it, endoscopy camera. Endoscopy. I'm going to say that wrong. Someone, nurses, please correct me. Um, which is, needs replacing uh, at Kahuna because they do get used a lot and they get sterilised. And I saw a Facebook post about that before from the theatre nurses. Um, they would really appreciate if we could um, raise money for one of those for them. So it's an absolutely great cause. Last year there was 400 entrants. So it'd be awesome to um, get more than that this year. There's 12 events you can go in. Caters from for kids from... Tiny Tots in the Mini Miler event, up to or anyone can really enter. There's a 6.5k walk or run, there's cycling events, um, and there's the half marathon if you're really keen, which is a trail run and a 12.5 trail uh, kilometer trail run as well. So get your entries in, everyone. Um, I hopefully haven't forgotten to say anything about that. Get, you, get, get registered, it's a great family event. You get a discount if you're registered, two adults and two children. Um, there's all sorts of things like that on the website and all the information um, about it. Uh, all right, so now I've got a special guest with me today. Um, one of the staff members from AWMA. His name is Jason and we're gonna spin around here. We'll get him in the shot. Where you are. He's very tall, so this is going to be fun. <laughs> this is Jason Cass, and he's the project manager at AWMA Water Control Solutions. And he's going to just sort of show us through um, the building because not many people, the general public, don't actually really get to come in here. Um, so, yeah, a lot of people who live in town probably don't really realise what AWMA, that's going to be a mouthful, AWMA do, and what's actually behind all these big shed doors here. And uh, so, we're just going to go for a little bit of a tour around. I'll spin the camera. All right, let's go in, Jason. So I did come here yesterday just to you can you can open if you want. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. What a gentleman, Tom. <laughs> We've got the beautiful admin area here. All staff members have uh, mysteriously gone to lunch, haven't they, Jason? Oh, it is lunchtime. So yeah, <laughs> Jason got dobbed in for this yesterday. I'm not sure he kind of knew what he was getting into. Actually, it might take me bridge to bridge hat off. You get a nice hat. Uh, when you sign up on the Bridge to Bridge, you actually can also buy um, T-shirts, hats, and other stuff like that. So I ordered myself a hat. 
Okay, now AWMA have massive offices. It's like a bit of a rabbit warren. I couldn't believe how big it was when I um, actually came in here yesterday. But here is the um, big meeting room and we've got lots of photos of different amazing projects that they have been working on. So Jason and I decided we'd like to talk about a couple here. So I'll show you the picture first. So keep that picture in your mind. And then Jason's going to tell us actually what that is. Because if you look at all these things here, they're incredibly huge and complex constructions, all to do with water, flood, environment, um, dams, water treatments, fish, all that sort of stuff. So they do some really cool things. But Jason's going to tell us about this one in particular. All right, so... What is that? <laughs> uh, the picture that we're looking at. Yeah, the picture at is that you look at there. That acid is acid tilting a... flood barrier. Right. Uh, it's a floating hinged flood barrier. Yeah. This particular application is a downward sloping driveway to an underground basement of a residential uh, building. Yeah. So, in a normal event, when there's a significant amount of rain, the water will travel down the driveway and flood the basement. Yes, we've seen that before on the news, all the mansions yeah. in Melbourne that they have their car parks and garages underneath their buildings. Um, they, yeah, they can get really filled up with water. So, um, Tony told me yesterday that um, building regulations mean now they have to put in yep. some sort of flood mitigation um, system, and you guys have. Yep. Provided the solution to that, so we, we provided an engineering control. solution. Yeah, exactly. That, that we design, we manufacture, and we install. Yep. So we offer the whole package. When people have uh, a problem, they'll come to us, and we'll we'll offer what we can, and they, they work quite well. They're, yeah, they're made let's of have a marine look. grade aluminium. Yeah. They float. So. Can so that's imagine, the driveway. The driveway so the down. car would normally go down there, and that's the person's house, right? That's right. And this is the barrier in the raised position. So. Yep. Normally what would happen is the water will come down here and we'll enter mm. a strip drain here, fill our cassette, the system will start to back up and the water will build up. Yeah. This hinge door, which is hinged on the back, will come up like that. Yep. It will always raise above the flood water okay. so the water can never lap over the top. Perfect. And then when the water subsides eventually, yep. because sometimes these waters can come up for a couple of hours, five yeah, minutes, exactly. days at the time. As the water recedes, the barrier comes back down and it can be returned to, to normal operation, which is pedestrians or vehicles. Absolutely. But if your car was in there, you'd be stuck in there. Yeah, you wouldn't and want to drive there no, with a six foot of water in front Absolutely of you, not. You wouldn't. So, yeah. so previously, all the cars and um, anything that was in there would be Protected. damaged if there wasn't one of these, um, which could include like the power power bo yep. boards for the that's building right. and everything like that. So now that's become part of a building regulation in most councils, do you think? Most, or in certain yeah, areas, most, probably. Yeah. And you guys have pr pr yeah, researched and done the research design and uh, manufacture and installation of something to do with water that people yep. needed. I guess that probably summarises a lot yeah, of the things right. you do when you, there's a need identified. Well. <laughs> I think it's so interesting. Yeah. That's great. And Tony also mentioned things like um, shopping centres. Um, yeah could use this sort of thing too because they we've obviously a, don't want, you we've know. We've got a barrier in the factory now that's been tested that's going to protect the shopping centre. Yeah. City, Monobel, oh, wow. Place. Yep. So we've, we've designed, we've manufactured, now we're doing some testing on that. Yeah. That's taking place now, so we might be able to have a sneak peek when we go out there. Absolutely. That'd be good. We had to walk out there. Yeah. The other one we sort of looked at here, which might sort of... Um, the locals should recognise this drone shot. This is uh, above the Kahuna Weir and the, the little weir out off to the channel, Umbau Creek yep. and the National Channel. And there's a fish screens there, which are these yeah, the little things here. Yeah, the three cones. Yep, yeah, the three cones screens. Yeah, so they have um, been um, also designed and manufactured yes, and right. installed by yep. AWMA um, to keep the native fish from going down that part, is it? Yes, that's right. Yep. What I might do is there's a big, I'll actually go to this location after I do the video, um, which is another picture here. That's when it was getting all installed and everything. I'll actually go to that location and pop a picture of what these look like from the bank. And there's actually an information um, board there as well. That's right. Isn't there? So, um, but that's just pretty amazing that in Kahuna, we've got a business that can think of these solutions, um, then make them and then install them. So it's, it's pretty amazing. And now provide them to other places that yeah. are needing the same sort of thing. Because Tony was showing me yesterday that this is a, a mini fish screen um, that can be used in a, in a smaller application. So beautiful. Let's go outside and see some of these things actually being made. It's going to be a bit of a walk, so we'll have a bit of a chat while we go. 
Okay, I'll just leave my hat there, that's all right. So, how many people actually work here, Jason? 50. 50 people, yep. rightio. And you've got people in um, admin, Finance, Admin, sales, sales finance, yeah, project support. management. So we've got three project managers. We've got a couple of project managers' thing. assistants. Yeah. We'll go that way. But here's the fish thing. Yeah. That's cool, isn't it? This is our new self-propelled solar screen. Yes. So this will be bolted to a suction pipe on any uh, river channel, things like that. And yep. the water gets sucked in through this wet water. Yep. As the water Sucked through, it spins this impeller, so you come around here and it'll just it's a little impeller. As what? As it gets sucked through, it spins. Yes. And as it spins, this barrel rotates. Yep. As it rotates, we've got two or three brushes in there that will clean. Yep. So self cleaning, there's no power. Yep. There's no um, mechanical other than the water coming in, spinning this around. Yeah, so yeah. If it's in the water for a week and it doesn't get used, it doesn't move. Yeah. When you use it, it turns around. Yeah. Exactly. So Fantastic. It is a new product and it's doing quite well. Absolutely. Very good. All right, my 10 minute time is going off. So that's, that's how fast it goes. We haven't, yet. <laughs> we haven't even got outside. So let's go for a bit of a walk out here. Um, it's a, yeah, it looks like, oh, I don't even know. I forgot to ask how long AWMA has been going for, but you know, it's been About here 20 years, 20 years has it? So, yeah. And it sort of, I think started out with the small shed and the small staff, yep. and then the sheds have just been sort of added on added and added on, on and right. the staff have yep. increased. I think the staffing, um, flows obviously and changes um, depending on you know your contracts and projects and things that you've got sort of ongoing yep. um, but you've got as any business does yeah things absolutely fly. yeah things that's right that happens, so. so you'll always be putting in tenders for um, different projects and things I'm guessing yep. um, and where do a lot of those tenders come from well, I'm fortunate enough not to work in the sales department. <laughs> you don't have so to work at that sort of they thing. I work on those sort of things, so they'll build the package up and, yep. uh, and uh, hand it to us to, to design and execute. Yes, yeah. okay, you're getting some heckling from your, co uh, your colleagues here. Uh, Kyron says, take your sunglasses off. <laughs> uh, no chance. <laughs> he's, he's dead, he's too squinty, so <laughs> that's good to know that some of the staff members are actually watching. If they've got Kyron. any so comments. So you the next one for you, then? Yeah, yeah. Kyron. Kyron Ellery, wasn't it? Yeah, it's Kyron yeah, Ellery. I might even interview him about the Nondi's Cricket Club or something. He's sort yeah. of like the, yeah. the face of... Uh... You need a good 30 minute second for him. <laughs> <laughs> and they're sort of a, a local organisation, so, you know, I'm going to go to them as well. So watch out, Kyron. Yep. What do you reckon we should go over to that gate over there? Oh, Some of the other blokes are over there. <laughs> We've got a few more people watching now. Sorry, it's probably a little bit windy. It is a bit windy. It's a beautiful day though. Hang on, I'll just do a bit of a view of the yard. People busy over here. Big manufacturing shed. One of the that's quite big that one isn't it yeah so it's, is that the one shorter, going to but the it's a lot wider so this is a dual lane yep. uh, underground car park this one that we're going to right, okay, cool. so, so it's the one. same design principle as what you saw in the picture in the boardroom yep. except it's just a, a shorter version but much longer okay so that would be dropped to the road yeah so this, this road. is in the up position yeah position yeah so these braces and, and sit back down yeah and ship them up to Sydney or Brisbane or wherever they've got to go. Yeah. This one's going to Yeah. Well, they're all places that we've seen have had those flood events that, that you know, need the protection. So, absolutely incredible. So, we'll move over to... Yeah, we'll go over to this one. Absolutely. There's a lot that goes into all this, like when you move through all the buildings and everything. And I went into the manufacturing, the big green manufacturing shed over there the other day, and that had like um, so many 
welding stations all set up and everything. And for someone like me who's never been in such an environment, you know, it was uh, yeah, very interesting to have a look at everything that was going on in there. So what's this one? This is a concealed flood barrier. Okay. This is the one that's going to protect a shopping centre in Mona Vale. Okay. It's a water place. Yeah. So at the moment the cassette is this black unit standing up. Yeah. The door itself is oh, playing. Oh, there it is. The yeah. We're in the middle of testing at the moment. Yeah. So this door sits inside that cassette. Okay, inside it. So yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. Ah, okay. Interesting. Yeah, excellent. Right, yeah, to pump the water out so then it goes down. Yeah. Yeah, so the client would let you know what the needs, the demands are, and then you would design it around that. Very clever. Awesome. All right. Craig's heckling you as well. Mr. Flood. Oh, yes. <laughs> is that an inside joke? Yep. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It is a bit glary out here. I need my glasses on now. Well, thank you so much, Jason. Thanks for showing us around, especially at the last minute. Um, I don't know what you thought you were getting into, a, a 30 minute sit down talk, but it's been audio a little bit... Audio only. Oh, oh audio only, yeah, okay. So you didn't do your that's hair or anything? I said yes. <laughs> well, it'll be fine and you'll be able to go home, show your lovely wife and um, kids that you were a Facebook Live star and I actually posted on YouTube as well. So you can, you can tell your kids that you're going to be oh, a great. YouTube star. So <laughs> that's good. Well, thank you very much for joining us. Thanks for watching everyone. And make sure you go register for the Bridge to Bridge and um, give AWM all the sponsors a big shout out um, for helping us put on such a great event and raise money for our hospital. See you next week, guys. Bye.